Now who could teach me to pick locks? Now who could teach me to pick locks? Halt! No one can enter this warehouse. Everything all right, big guy? Everything is all right. I'm looking for training. Ukos can train you. Train you in strength. Train you with an axe. I must ask for a little gold against my honor. But Ukos needs gold for the butcher shop. Now who could teach me to pick locks? Now who could teach me to pick locks? Hey. Wait. Not here. Huh? We talk here, Carrasco will listen. He doesn't have to know everything. Let's go somewhere else. Who could teach me to pick locks? Now who could teach me to pick locks?
Now who could teach me to pick locks? Do you have a problem with Carrasco? Well, let's see. All those temples turn up and we're thinking, hurrah, the gods have finally smiled on us. Then, the Inquisition arrive, take over our island and start claiming all the treasure belongs to them. How would you feel? But do you have a particular problem with Carrasco? He's the worst of them. Claims I've been stealing, even had me searched. But he's never found anything. It's an outrage! An outrage, I tell you! I'm looking for work. You could lug crates, but you have to talk to Carrasco. But you don't look like the crate-lugging kind of guy. What do I look like? Like someone who will willingly take greater risks for greater profits? So you don't think stealing is an outrage? Taking from the orders, not stealing. It's our duty. I'll pay a few lads to liberate items from the warehouse. I'm damned if I'm letting the Inquisition get all the treasure. But those lads have run up tabs to pay. They've bedded too many wenches. They're getting greedy. And I won't have that. How exactly have they got greedy? They stole five ancient armour plates that were found in the ruins. Can this armour be used? You mean to improve your own armour? Yes. They're more ceremonial than practical, but they're still very valuable. Which lads are causing trouble? There's Durham. He's a worker from the harbour. Who else? Ingvar, 
and Vasily. Neither of them has a proper job, so they're just work for hire. Most of the time, they can be found in Patty's tavern. Fine woman she is. What's in it for me, if I help? You can have the gold I offered them. 50 gold pieces for each plate. Five plates, that's 250 all in. 250's a good price. You won't get that much coin faster and easier anywhere else. Agreed. What do you want doing with these lads? How should I handle it? Any way you like. They've crossed me for the last time. Do what you have to do. Just get me those armor plates back. And don't let them fall into Carrasco's hands. I'll retrieve the armor plates. That's the spirit. I'm here if you've got any more questions. Ask someone else. Hey, you knew. How are things going here? Mm, not good. Not good. These storms ain't budging. So you're a sailor? Fisherman. Now there ain't no fish out there that make me want to brave these storms. So right now, I'm lugging crates. Doesn't pay much, but it's a great deal safer. If you're a fisherman, maybe you'd be interested in buying a fishmonger's. No, I ain't no storekeeper. I need to be out in the waves. Well, when they ain't 50 foot tall, that is. Try Patty's Tavern. I hear you've got some artifacts. Yeah, oh, Luca sent you, right? Look. I am sick and tired of lying in that bastard's pockets by doing his dirty work. I want payment, a decent payment, or you can both piss off. 200 gold pieces should do it. I could beat them out of you. You can try, but I don't carry those armor plates with me. I ain't stupid, and without my help, you won't be seeing them anytime soon. Where are the armor plates? Pay me, and you'll find out. If not, you can search until your bones crumble and you won't find them. Look, where did you hide them? Are you deaf? No gold, no telling. Tell me where those plates are before I kick your ass out into the storms. You can shout all you like, but if you don't pay me, I'm telling Ukos. What does Ukos have to do with this? Ukos is big, strong, and he owes me. So, pay up. I'd stop right there if I were you. You ain't going any further. What's the problem? The Order runs this warehouse now. So what? So they don't want anyone wandering in uninvited. Wandering uninvited types tend to wander out again with stuff that ain't theirs. What sort of trouble? Artifact smuggling. It's bad enough these artifacts have been stolen in the ruins. You'd think they'd be safe in town in a warehouse, but there are thieves everywhere, trying to undermine the order. Can I help? Well, the latest things to go missing were three golden bowls. The Inquisitor was not impressed. I could do with getting those back. And I need to get hold of some armor plates that walked out of the warehouse a few days ago. Where did the Golden Bowls come from? An illegal excavation at an old temple, outside the town. Since we heard about that, talk says someone's been trying to sell three Golden Bowls on the black market. Idiots. To resist the order is crazy. We're driven by a greater force, a higher purpose. I heard something about those armor plates you're looking for. Tongues are already wagging, are they? Not good, not good at all. That means they'll soon be for sale, and on their way out of town. That man almost makes me want to go back to using my fists again. Talk to him, find out what he knows. Let's talk compensation. I was like you once, all about the gold and the dark place. I hope you find your higher purpose. Nothing in this town is free, especially not me. Have it your way. If you help me, you can choose your reward. 
I heard Luke is also looking for the armor plates. Really? Maybe he doesn't know as much as I thought. Well, make sure he doesn't get his paws on them. They're the property of the Order, and they're gonna stay that way. All right. I'll find the three golden bowls for you. You've got a pair on you. I'll give you that. But with the corrupt rabble we've got around here, it won't be easy. There'll be more than just you who's after them. So watch your back. Don't worry, I'll get your plates back. All five of them. Watch yourself. That godforsaken lot won't just give them to you. Now who could teach me to pick locks? Hey. Hey yourself. If you like what you see, you're gonna have to pay Madame Sonia first. Until then, seeing is all you get. Fair enough. Who is Madame Sonia? I didn't think I'd meet someone around here who didn't know Madame Sonia. She's my boss. Owns the brothel on the Western Harbour Quay. I see. Yes? What do you want? Do these ships really need guarding? Ships? No. Cargo, yes. And while these ships are stuck here, it's the Inquisition's duty to protect them. So here I am. Have you caught people trying to steal from the ships? There are those stupid enough to try, but nothing escapes my eagle eyes. Nothing. Of course not. Don't mock. You don't want to end up like our prisoner in the Harbour Key Jail, do you? What did the prisoner in the jail do? Captain Romanoff is a pirate. Was a pirate. Now he's just another prisoner. We caught him smuggling goods from the mainland for the Don. Of course, Romanoff's not the sort to pay for goods. He plundered, burned and killed his way across the coast. Until the Inquisitor caught up with him. You see? Law and order. Safety. The Don is gone. And soon we'll find the gold Romanov was paid by him. Until he tells us where that is hidden, he'll rot in his cell. You're a warrior of the Order. Your keen intellect tell you that. Your armor did. Yes. I am a warrior of the Order of the Holy Flame. That's a big title for a guard. How did you become a warrior of the Order? The Inquisitor himself chose me. He took me to the monastery for training. So you were forced into service? No. The service found me and I found the service. I wish more people would sign up, do their duty. Every man must find their calling. What's the Inquisitor like? You haven't met him. He's a hard man with firm principles. Once he has his eyes on a goal, no one can stop him. You can't help but admire a man like that. I suppose not. If you stay within the law, you have nothing to fear from him. What if I don't agree with the law? Then you better hope you don't meet him. Has Romanov told you anything, so far? Not much. He's tight-lipped for a braggart. But a few more weeks, rotting in jail, and he'll speak. You hope? Maybe I can get Romanov to talk. Ha! Why would he tell you where he's hidden it? We'll find it. The gold can't be far, and there are only so many places to hide it. I'll find Romanov's gold. How? We've been trying for days without success. But if you did manage to find it, you would, of course, be rewarded. I'd need to be. Hey, you! What are you doing hanging around here? Nothing here of interest for passers-by. I didn't know it was out of bounds. Ha! Why do you think I'm guarding it? What is it you're guarding? 
We've got a VIP in there. Captain Romanov is in that cell. You must have heard of him. Scourge of the High Seas. So? Where have you been? He terrorized most of the islands round here. Why didn't the Order take Romanov to the monastery like all the others? I haven't the foggiest. The white robes don't tell people, but I like it that way. The less I know, the more I can keep my head down. Did Romanov work alone? What happened to his crew? With the storms out to sea, they'll be laying low in the town, hiding from the Inquisition. Can I talk to Romanov? You can, but he won't hear, because he's in the cell and you're staying out here. And the key to his cell is staying in my pocket. Got that? Look, give me the cell key or I'll take it from you. Oh yeah, you and whose army? You're on dangerous ground here, mate. Just give me the key. Right, you've crossed the line. Draw your weapon. You wanna fight? You stole my cell key, you bastard! What are you gonna do about it? Take another beating? Ha! Huh. All I'm saying is, I'd better not get into trouble with the white robes. Got it? Let's see who they're sending me now. You another gutter dog, errand boy. You even think of asking about my gold. I'll rip out your tongue and feed it to the rats. I heard you're a pirate. We're starting with the hard questions, are we? Can see why they sent you, gutter dog. You gonna point out I'm in prison next? Or ask me if the food's all right? Just answer the question. You are a pirate, right? Pirate? Murderer? Criminal? Thief? I've been called a lot. Now they want to stick me in a cell to let me rot. The world is going to hell. I've been to hell and came back whole. I stared down the throat of the beast, watched water turn to stone, and cities tremble as it swept down upon them. Now they want to stick me in a cell to let me rot. You think that makes sense in these times, gutter dog? I'm sure letting you wander the streets would be a great comfort to the people here. The world's coming apart. We can all see our end in it. What comfort is there to be had in that? You've sailed out. In these storms. 
Seen a hundred ships founder, the waters swallow the men. But I'd never seen the sea watch a man. Choose its time. Until now. Whatever is out there, circling this island is doing that, choosing its time. These temples that rose from the earth, the creatures that came with them, they're nothing. Nothing compared to what is coming next. And no one can stop it. Not you, not me. And sure as hell, not the Inquisition. Do you have a problem with the Inquisition and the Order? Who do you think locked me up here? One day, that Inquisitor will pay. He won't see me coming. How long have you been here? A few days. They think they're softening me up. They want to know where I hid my gold. And here was me thinking they only cared about spiritual matters. Tell me about your gold. Who says I have any? Pretty much anyone who mentions you mentions gold. You live on rumors. You might as well believe fairy tales. The tavern keeper, Patty, is looking for her father. Patty? Patty Steelbeard? That cunning bitch is anything but a tavern keeper. Her father is Captain Gregorius Steelbeard, also a man of the sea. And credit where it's due, he's a great one too. Not that the lice-ridden old bastard didn't make my life hell. I wouldn't trust his daughter further than I could throw her. Same blood, after all. I'll keep that in mind. Who might know where Captain Steelbeard is? My crew have been hunting the cutthroat for months, but found neither hide nor hair of the bastard. Where is your crew? Scattered across the island. Some are in town. Vasily and Ericsson were here not long ago. They're waiting for a sign from me. Steelbeard has a shack here in the town. You sure? Vasily told me. Hmm. Patty better not get wind of it. I don't entirely trust Vasily not to get drunk and blab his mouth. He's meant to be watching Patty. But he'd like to do more than watch, I'll bet. Why are you watching, Patty? Pays to keep an eye on your enemies. And her father wants to pay me back a little for scuttling his ship and killing off his crew when we last fought. Sure, he'd have done the same to me, given half a chance. But there's a score to settle. So it's up to me to settle it before he pays me back. Finding Steelbeard. That's something me and his daughter have in common. Maybe her search will help me find her father before she does. The door is open. You're free. I'll leave when I want to. At least I get free food here. So why don't you escape? Escape to where? You seen any ships come here in a week, a month? That's because they're all at the bottom of the sea in pieces. We've got little time to settle our reckonings before we meet our maker. And I have reckonings to settle on this island. Can't be nice here. It's damp, drafty. Can tell you never lived at sea. But this rancid clothing does mean no good. Sure time normally means clean clothes. And I've been sweating into this shirt for five straight weeks. I've an old chest in the warehouse on the Harbor Quay. There's a casket in there with shirts in it. You bring that casket to me, maybe then we can talk about things. I might even throw a few coins your way. I know what you think about the Inquisition. What do you think about the Don? I've known Esteban for a long time. He's a good man. Keeps his word. And there are few men I know of who do that. Least of all, honest men like the Inquisitor. Or join the Order and believe your soul will be saved by a flame. <laughs> Deal. I'll bring you your casket. Here's the key to the chest. It's on the upper floor of the warehouse on the Harbor Quay. Won't be easy to get to, but I can see you're the resourceful type. After you've got the stuff, come straight back here and keep the casket hidden. You give me your word on that. You must really be fond of your shirts. You have my word. Just get going before I stink myself into an early grave. 
I'm not listening. I've talked to Romanov. So what did you find out? He wants me to get him some clean clothes. You thought a pirate's wish for clean clothes was so important you had to tell me about it? Or do you think the gold is hidden in his laundry? Huh? Don't you have some place to be? I'll get ah, that was yeah. stupid. Come on, after him. That's you. Why are you sneaking about? Put that thing up. Ah! Okay, ah! that's. Ah! 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 Carrasco wants the armor plates back. I'm sure he does, but he won't pay you as good as I will. So, forget Carrasco and bring me those plates. Luca sent me. That old sod. He's worse than my wife. He says you're not sticking to your agreement with him. And Vasily says, if we all want our gold, we mustn't agree to anything else. So, I need 100 gold pieces for the armor plate. That's too much. No, 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 no. Vasily said to stick to the price. I could just take the armor. Boo! You think I'm just a drunk? I defended my farm against the monsters, and I'll defend this against you. You fancy your chances then? If I have to. This is gonna end in a fight. You're worse than my wife. Stop waving that around. Well done.
that you belong to Romanov's crew. What's that to you? You see a sailor, you suspect they're a pirate. Not all sailors are pirates. Luca sent me. Really? Did he give you my gold? 200 gold pieces and you can have the plates. 200 gold pieces is too much. So that's the way the wind blows. You're helping him. Let me tell you how we're going to do this. You pay me my price or you don't get the artifact. Your choice. If you're asking for a fight, you can have one. Others have tried. All right then, you bastard. Gold for me. Had enough? Let's try again. If you say so. All right then, you bastard. Can't we all just get along? Ah! Oh. ah. Foolishness. Oh. Uh, that is bad. Uh, Stop uh, it! Uh, huh? Can't we all just get along? Uh, what is this supposed to achieve? Uh, Stop it! Uh, that uh, is bad. Uh, I hope someone stabs you right through those damn plates. <sighs> right, do your worst. You want to fight? Go on, give him one. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Don't bail too soon. Uh. 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 Hits him uh. hard. Uh. Hits him! Ugh! I think I'm gonna be sick! I've lost it! I've lost it all! Looks good. Mm, this smells good. You're going to spend your whole life hanging around. About your father. Captain Romanov is locked up in a cell on the Harbor Key. So it's true what they're saying. He was arrogant enough to tangle with the Order. Did he tell you anything? 
Romanov says he doesn't know where your father is. He says he doesn't know. But then he'd still say that even if he left my father headless and castrated in a barrel somewhere. Romanov doesn't seem very fond of your father. My father tried to run him through and killed Romanov's favorite whore instead. The pair of them never exactly moved in exclusive circles. I can't say I'm too comfortable having that bastard in town. He'd happily see me dead, or worse. And if you're thinking he might give me to his men for the night, you better know he'd happily do the same with you. Well, that's just one more reason to steer clear of Harbour Town. Do you have anything to trade? There's a hungry look, but if you want meat, I'll want coin. If you don't have any coin, Master Belcher is handing out stew to the poor. Though you don't look that poor. What's your job here? I guard the slaughterhouse. Not a plum job, but when you decide to switch sides from the Don to the Inquisition, it takes time to earn trust. That's why I'm stuck guarding meat. Oh no, that's certainly increased in value now the storms have curbed the fishing trade. People are as likely to steal steak as they are artifacts. Have there been many break-ins? Too many. Three houses were robbed recently. And what was done about it? Not much we could do apart from keep an eye on local troublemakers. I am positive Sid is behind it, though. Why do you think Sid was behind the robberies? He considers himself a local leader of sorts. Likes to stir things up. But what makes you so sure it was him? Well... You just have to look at that girlfriend of his and the wealth she flaunts to know it's not coming from an honest source. How do you know, Sid? I was one of the Don's men. It's not something I'm proud of, but he's a charismatic man. He can be very persuasive. Then I realised he doesn't care about the future of this island. He just cares about his own selfish gains. Now, I fight alongside Inquisitor Mendoza. What are you planning to do now? If I can prove Sid was behind the burglaries, maybe I can improve my standing in the Order. But I doubt anyone would talk to me. The Don's men feel betrayed, and the Inquisition are suspicious. So, I need someone who doesn't have my baggage. What about you? It would help this town no end if the burglaries were stopped. I can pay you for your aid. How much will you pay me? How about 150 gold? Okay, I'll investigate the break-ins. Good. Be careful, it won't be easy. Sid's tricky. It's difficult to pin anything on him, even though he always seems to know where items of value can be found. You think he cased the houses, in advance? He may be a thief, but he's not a stupid one. He probably sent someone else to scope the houses out. If you can find out who his spy is, that'll be a good start. Whose houses were robbed? Nelson the cartographer, Flavio the fur dealer, and Baxter the bookkeeper. You should talk to each of them. Their statements could be the key to bringing Sid to justice. Where can I find... Flavio the fur dealer? Up in the gutters. His house is right next to the Shrine of the Holy Flame. Baxter the bookkeeper? Next to the butcher's shop. He runs the books for the business. Nelson, the cartographer? His place is on the way to the gutters. Just go up the stairs from the harbour. I heard you had a break-in. 
What was stolen? A ring. A valuable one. I received it from Commandant Carlos personally, in return for a map of the island. Who was here on the day of the break-in? A few people. Mo from the slaughterhouse brought me a delivery of meat. Anyone else? The labourer Doyle sold me fish. And Pavel, one of Flavio's men, he sold me a couple of wolf pelts. I'll find your ring. I would be very grateful. I'm looking for Doyle. Doyle? I haven't seen him in a long time. Used to be a good customer of mine. Well, he bought fish from me more than once. That's good in my book. But maybe you could jog my memory, eh? Where is Doyle? I last heard he'd taken quarters with Costa. But since then, he hasn't been seen in the gutters. Maybe he's gone into hiding for some reason. Lots of strange goings on around here. I spoke to Rodriguez. He thinks you're behind the break-ins. He's trying to frame me. He hates me. Always has for some reason. Rodriguez thinks you're using a spy to check out potential houses. Does he? Do you? Have a spy? What do you think? Who is it? No, of course I don't. Why would I? But if you find a spy, talk to me before you talk to Rodriguez. Maybe no one needs to get in trouble. Hello, Ansem. Haven't seen you around here before. I'm new. How did you manage to get into Harbour Town? Not much goes in or out these days. Well, not in town anyway. You always this nosy with strangers. I'm not trying to make trouble. I can't be too careful, can I? I just like to know who is who, don't I? There are all sorts round here, and lots of them are wrong uns. So, what do you do around here? I'm Sid's better half. He's one of the Don's men. Is he now? Now, don't go thinking he's any old ruffian. My Sid is smart, strong, and he knows what a girl wants. Which is? Well, a little material appreciation, of course. Why, what were you thinking? My Sid knows. Why, just the other day, my Siddy gave me a beautiful ring. It was fit for the Inquisitor, it was. I think Sid stole it. My Siddy is no thief, and you can't prove otherwise. Can I see the ring Sid gave you? Nah! You might chop off my hand to get to it. I know your sort. Give me that ring. It's mine, okay? Mine. I'll give you something much better instead. What do you want? I love it when a man asks me that. Tell you what, if you can find me some pearls, a whole string of them, you can have that ring. I have a beautiful string of pearls here. So you do. Okay, give them to me and you can have the ring. Just don't tell Siddy. And don't go thinking you can pin anything on either of us. We'll deny everything. Quiet. I'm thinking. I found it. I have your ring. I'm so pleased that honesty still exists. I'd like you to keep the ring. Are you serious? Seeing it just reminds me of the break-in. I don't want it anymore. Are you sure about giving me the ring? Isn't it precious? Yes, of course. I don't even want to look at it. Take it with my thanks. I'm grateful. Thank you. I'm not listening. You were seen in one of the houses that was burgled. Actually, I've been in more than one. That doesn't make me a thief, though. We'll see. Please don't disturb me. Now 
who could teach me to pick locks? About the break-in. What was stolen? Ah, uh, my hides. If that hadn't have happened, I would have been able to carry on my business. Oh, I should have listened to my father and gone to sea. That would have saved me a lot of trouble. Who was here on the day of the break-in? Just the usual day labourers who wanted to push their wares off on me. <sighs> like I have any gold left. Anyone else? Ah, uh, Pavel was here the whole day. After all, he works for me. And Vasily wanted to sell me beer from the tavern. And then there was Doyle. He wanted to sell fish, but I sent him away. That was all. I need a few things. Can you teach me about hunting? Put your weapon ah, down. You and me, do your best. Delgado is waiting for his gold. Then he's gonna have to wait a long time. I'm not paying. Delgado won't like that. Is that a threat? Police. What do you think I pay Fuller for? Delgado's not getting another coin out of me. Hey, do you work here? Sure do. If you're looking for somewhere to kip, just go upstairs. Pay Costa after. Isn't it a bit odd to pay afterwards? Don't ask me. I don't bring the business, I just bring the muscle. Why is muscle needed? Costa doesn't want trouble. Trouble with whom? Guests looking for a free kip, or anyone who wants to play silly buggers. So, you're paid muscle? Better than an unpaid muscle. You won't pay? Is that your final say? It really wasn't very smart to get involved with a man like Delgado, you know? You'll see that soon enough. There's no Don here anymore. The Order controls this place. So, no payment. And yes, that is my final say. Fine. Then I'll take the gold. We'll see about that. Fuller! Hey, wait a moment. Come on, you started this, now I'm ending it. Let's get this over with. I've got to see this. Huh? Yeah! It's here! Yeah. Ah! That was good. Ah. Oh no! Yeah! Yeah! Ha! Ah! Go! Ha! 
That was good. Go! That was good. Yeah! Come on! Yeah! That was good. Yeah! Hit him! Can't we all just I get along? There is enough of Can't my we all own. just get along? No need for gold where you've gone. <laughs> You're nothing but a lousy thug. Well, that hurt. But I'm still not giving you any of my gold. I'm supposed to give you this healing potion from Master Belshaw. Ah, thank you. Refugees stick together, eh? Master Belshaw told me to bring you this potion. Thank you. Finally a chance for Martha. But healing potions alone won't be enough. I have to get my wife off the street. It's killing her. She needs somewhere to stay. Shelter. I'll find a bed. Some shelter for your wife. If you could do that, it'd be wonderful. Please, do your best. Please. Costa hires me for a reason, and now you know why. We've got a score to settle. Fancy your chances again? I think I'd bet on me. Let's get this over with. Let's get this over with! Fight! Ah. Fight! Ah. Come on, you fucking like lettuce! Give us blood! Give me Delgado's gold. Well, I'm not going to give you the gold, but I will give you something else. Hope you're ready for this! Uh. I've got to see uh. this! Uh. Uh. 
nice style there. Do me a favour, mate, and don't let Costa know you can fight like that, or I'll be out of a job. I don't need to tell him, or are we going to have another problem? No. I might be paid for muscle, but that doesn't mean I don't have a brain. You're nothing but a lousy thug. Come to gloat, have you? Stealing gold from an honest businessman who's just trying to help folks get by. I did warn you. We've all got to make a living, I guess. So, let bygones be bygones, eh? Well, if it means you'll be spending some coin with me, then I'll oblige. Farmer Arno needs a clean bed for his sick wife, Martha. They both live on the street. I know. They're in a very bad situation. We really need a place to care for the worst cases. If only I knew where I could house Arno's wife. Could you search for somewhere? Perhaps Costa would help us house them. I can ask. I've given healing potions to everyone on your list. Thank you. Thank you. May the Holy Flame protect you. Perhaps you are suited to be a novice. In any case, you have my blessing. I will tell Carlos about your good work. He'll summon you when he has time. Carry out the tasks he charges you with, convince him of your commitment, and he will take you to the monastery so you may study magic. He'll also provide you with a pass. Without his word, if you venture outside of the town walls, you'll be arrested by the warriors of the Order. I see. Is there anything else I can do for you? Not for the moment. Perhaps later. All right. What is it? You were seen in a house that was burgled. But I sell fish door to door. I spend time in people's houses. If you say so. 